Uh, talking about a really cool feature, the latest ones, everybody's talking about it. It made the press big time and it impressed me. You know how I roll. I like it when something is big and ambitious, but at the same time feels cool and authentic and makes sense uh, for the game and the audience. So if it's just big for the size of big, for the purpose of bigness, but it doesn't really make sense. Um, I'm not that excited, but this one I really, really, really liked because obviously The Voice is such a big brand worldwide. You know, even here in Colombia, they have The Voice. <laughs> they don't even call it's it everywhere. The Voice. They call it The Voice in English with a terrible yeah. accent, but still. Um, and, 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 and yeah, it is so... If you put it in a video game, it's like so obvious. It's like, I wish I had thought of it, <laughs> which is what the best ideas are, right? It's like, oh yeah, of course, this is so metaverse. You get yeah. to sing, there is the judge aspect of it. So how did it come about? Once again, you get a lot of love from TikTok on it, which makes me also jealous. Um, tell me more about that big thing that's happening right now and how it's been playing for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, so we're halfway through so far. We haven't opened the big stage that's starting next week, but the TV ad is starting tomorrow. But let's let's go back a bit. Like, what, what did okay. we do? So hats off to Oliver, obviously, on this one, pulling together some really interesting partners. I picked up it pretty soon as I uh, after I joined the company. Um, it's it's a collaboration between various partners. So, of course, ourselves as the, the, the host of the, the experience in, in the app. And there's ITV, who is the voice hold, uh, IP holder. And they also are a TV channel in the UK, thus the TV ad. Uh, so we can collaborate on, we get to TV, they get to Metaverse. It's a pretty exciting uh, opportunity for both. Um, and then Sony, so we've licensed tracks from them and we're working with one of the artists, uh, Sam Fisher, who's a TikTok celebrity himself. He, he rose from TikTok. And then there's TikTok um, as a partner. So we are able to collaborate with them, getting a lot of platform for those amazing voices that are coming through the the experience. But this, I think this is one of my favorite projects because of that, that we were able to put the concept together based on what our community would want to do and what is not possible to do in the real world. So let's really uh, like identify the problems, which is people are shy, they might have amazing voice, but they don't live in the right country or the right city where this kind of stuff is available. Um, the, they don't get to be a judge because they're not celebrity themselves or they will never ever dare to stand on a big stage. So we wanted to kind of remove all those barriers that really shouldn't be a big deal. Um, let's just take the, the essence of the voice. They even themselves call it the, the voice. where the voice matters. <laughs> yeah, and the voice matters. So let's just concentrate on that and let's use this opportunity. That people can be an avatar and just have their voice out there. And what we can do instead of having a TV show where a couple of people can be shining, we can have the whole world looking at them or hearing them in this case. So we can we can really um, pick the best ones with the most amazing voices and highlight them throughout the campaign to millions of users, to millions of viewers. So what we're doing is every every few days, we go through the audition tapes that they are currently. So people are able to go into the voice of Avakin and create an audition tape where they're dancing with their avatars. They upload that to TikTok and add their actual vocals. So they can find the karaoke track there and then sing on it. So we listen to those and find the best ones and we highlight those on TikTok, so they're able to get a whole bunch of views there. But we also bring them back into the app. So there's a green room that you spawn into when you enter the voice of Avakin in Avakin Life. And there's two screens there. You can see the best of those few uh, few days, the real singers showing their videos, how they're doing it. And you can inspire like, OK, uh, I, I think I can do that as well. That's pretty low barrier. Like I can just do a dancing video and add my vocals. So it has to be like a incentivized, uh, very clear, like how do you participate? And if you really have that amazing voice, you're able to get it get it heard. That's the idea here. And then, uh, yeah, next week we're gonna open up the stage. So there's also the huge stage, the actual showroom. We've replicated the TV showroom with the judges chairs as well as the big stage. And these are like 
action notes where you can go and sit down and capture a TikTok video. So we have a direct uh, export to TikTok of each of these kind of key moments of spinning in the chair and pushing the button and singing on the big stage. And the idea is that we wanted to just give these tools for people to use, do whatever they feel like doing. What is their creative input? Um, we did expect like really cool things, but it just blows me away every day to look at those videos like, wow, okay, that's just amazing. The camera moves, the crazy clothes that they're dressing up in, and some of the voices are just absolutely amazing. Like nobody's heard these people singing. That's not fair. We need to give them that place to really be heard and by other people too.